Okay, so a while back, I saw somebody post in the Shopify community forum asking if it was possible to add a link to a product page on the main image of the Shopify Dawn collage section. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and I'll do even better. I'll show you how to set up that link so you can go pretty much on to any page on your Shopify store or even any page outside of it. So if that sounds good to you, let's get into it. Okay, so as I discussed previously, I'm gonna show you how to put a link on the main image in the Dawn collage section. Now the person's original question asked how to put a link to a product page on that main image. So I'm gonna show you that first, but it's gonna pretty much allow you to link anywhere you want. So I put together this lovely document for you so you know exactly what we're doing, right? The collage section inside of Dawn is made up of three blocks, an image block, a product card block, and a collections block. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean by that in just a second, but what we're gonna end up doing is we're going to wrap the image element or the image block in an HTML link element. I'll show you. And the second thing we're gonna do is create a new setting on the image block that allows you to select a page to link to. And lastly, we're gonna add in some error handling just in case you don't input the link properly so that you know it fails gracefully if there's a problem. So that's what we're doing. And I'm gonna show you how to get it done right now. Okay, so as you can see, I'm inside of my Shopify theme now. I'm on Dawn version 15.1.0, which is the newest version of Dawn that's out right now. So inside of my homepage, if I scroll to the bottom, you'll see this section that's called Multimedia Collage. So this is a collage section right here. So I have it set up. So that says a big image on the left-hand side. There is a product, and then there is a link to a collection. So I'm gonna set it up again, just so I can showcase this to you. So if I click add section and I look for collage, I'll see it. So add it in. All right, so right here, you can see that nested inside of collage, you see image product collection. Those are the blocks. I'm gonna delete them for now, just so you can see all the different options. So if I click add block, you can see I have a few options. I have image, I have product, I and mean, you might not be able to see on the screen, but I have another option called collection, and then I have a final option that's called video. So there are four blocks that the collage section can take currently. So I'm gonna set it up again. So let's add in an image block, let's add in a product block, and then let's add in a collections block. So this is pretty much the setup that I had. Now keep in mind, the thing you add at the first level of the blocks is gonna be the biggest thing. So if I put collections up here, it's the biggest thing that's on the screen. If I put product up here, it's the biggest thing that's on the screen. So if you wanted to specifically link to a product page, what you could do is you can make the product block the biggest thing on the screen in, this, in the collage element. And then from there, people can link to the product page. But we're not gonna do that because in the original request, it said, how do I link to something in the main image block? So this image block is a thing we're trying to link to. So I'm gonna, put the image on top, so it's the biggest thing. And then I'm gonna select an image. So I'm going to pick this image right here. And then at the level of product, I'm going to pick a product. Let's go with this one right here. And then lastly, for a collection, I think I'll go with my Love in Paris collection because it matches the vibe that I got going on right now. All right, so we got that. Let's save that. Now this is what it looks like currently in the theme editor. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the code for this theme. So in order to edit the code for this theme, what you can do is you can find the theme you wanna work with, click the three dots right here and click edit code. Or what you can do on the theme customization window, you can click these three dots up here and then click edit code. It'll take you to the same place. So it'll take you to this editor right here. You're gonna close out the open folders and then open up the sections folder. And then inside the sections folder, you're gonna look for collage.liquid. This is the file we're working in. So the file has a lot of code in it, but I'm gonna show you exactly what you'll be paying attention to. If you scroll through the, the code, on line 40, you should see a case statement. It says case block dot type. So right here is where we write our instructions for what Shopify should do whenever we have different blocks in this section. So right here on line 41, it says when image. So when the person picks the image block, this is what I want you to do. If I were to scroll down, look, it says when product on line 94. When the person picks a, a product block, here is what I want you to do. And then on line 105, it's one collection. And then finally on line 115, it is one video. So the thing we're paying attention to 
is everything inside of where it says when image. So that's about from line 41 all the way down until line 94. That's what we're concerned with. So this is where we're gonna make all of our customizations, right in here. Okay, so before we get started with customizing the theme code, I need to say this because somebody in the comment section was recently complaining about how one of these code tutorials destroyed their store when I literally told you in multiple videos how to avoid that, okay? Before you make any customizations at all, you're going to go to the theme you're working on, click the three dots, and click duplicate. This makes a copy of your theme, okay? You always wanna make sure that you have a backup copy of your theme in case you make a mistake. It's like playing a video game. You save your file, if you wanna make some huge changes to your characters or whatever you copy the file over so you have something to fall back on i told you what to do so if you mess up your store or your theme don't look at me like i didn't tell you i just told you okay so make sure you keep a copy of your theme handy in case you need it so now that we covered that let's jump back into the edit code window remember we're working on the collage.liquid section so we're gonna scroll down to where it says image. And remember, I said earlier, we need to add an HTML link tag to the image. So I am going to tell you what an HTML link tag is right now so that we all know what we're talking about. HTML link hyperlinks. Right here, from W3 Schools, we can see the HTML A tag defines a hyperlink. It has the following syntax. This is what we want our link to look like. So if we go back to the edit code window now, we're going to look through the code until we find the actual image elements. So when image right here, we're just looking through this now, we're looking through this. I don't see it yet, I don't see it yet. Okay, we can see the image element right here. So usually the image element will look like this, but Shopify Liquid has some little shortcuts that allow you to generate images in using Liquid. Let me just look through this for a second so I can tell you what to do next. Okay, so here's the game plan. So remember that code I showed you a little earlier, right here on line 52, the image is generated using Shopify Liquid. This is done to make sure the image generates in a way that's highly performant and does it impact your page load speed. So it's good for performance, but it's annoying as hell to customize. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy over everything from line 52 all the way down to line 88. We're gonna copy that over and then we're gonna get rid of it, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an href element, an anchor element I mean, and we're gonna add in the href attribute the href, the href <laughs> attribute allows you to choose where you want something to link to. So for now, while we set this up, let's have it link to something generic like google.com. And we're going to add in the closing tag for this anchor element. You need to have a closing tag for this. And we're going to paste in all that stuff that we copied. Let's paste that in. I'm gonna back this up a little bit just because I like the way that it looks. It looks indented. We're gonna save that and we're gonna check our work really quickly on our live theme. So if you go back to the home page, refresh, you should see the image should look like this. It should look really messed up. But if I click the image, it links to google.com. So the image is linking properly, but it looks ugly as hell. How do we fix that? Let's fix that right now. So what we're gonna do is gonna go back to the edit code window. You're going to make some CSS changes to this image. So normally I'd say add the CSS directly to the image element, but as you can see, since it's being generated with liquid, we can't do that. So what can we do instead? This is what we're gonna do. So at the level of the A element that we added, before the href, we're going to add in class equal to, and then put empty quotes. Inside the class, we're gonna call this clickable underscore image underscore link because that is what it is clickable image link and we're going to copy that class over and we're going to scroll up to that style element we have up here and on the next line we're going to add in some css customizations now really quickly you're going to open up a text that looks like this this is a css comment we're going to put a comment to ourselves that we're customizing the dawn theme css and we're going to tell ourselves what we're doing so in the future if we ever need to do something else, or if we want to hand it off to a developer, whatever, the comment is there for the person reading it. So we're gonna put customizing the clickable 
image clickable image link we just added. So beneath that, we're going to put a period and then we're gonna paste in the CSS class we just added to the link element. And then we're gonna space that in. And now we're adding our code, right? Now briefly, we're gonna actually add a space at the end of that link text where it says image underscore link. And we're going to point it towards the image element because what we want is we wanna target that CSS class that we added and then make some styling changes to the image element inside of it. So what this is saying, target the A element that we just added the class to, look inside of it and look for an image element. Hopefully that makes sense. Even if it doesn't, this is what we're doing. So inside, we're going to put object-fit cover, and then we're going to put max, and then we're going to put width 100%, and then we're going to put height 100%. And then we're gonna save that. And hopefully this image won't look ugly anymore. Let's refresh the page. It no longer looks ugly because what we did is we told the image, use up all the space that's inside of your container. Now the CSS and Dawn already did that, but because we added that A element inside of there that wasn't there before, it messed with the CSS, so we just fixed it. So the image looks nice now but it's still linking to google.com. So how do we change that? We're gonna talk about that right now. Okay, so now we're going to actually customize this so we can choose where the link goes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to the schema settings for this section. We're gonna find the image block. We're gonna customize that. Okay, so this is the image block. We have the settings right here, right? The only setting we have is an image picker. I want to add a new setting. So we're gonna add a comma right there. We're gonna open some curly brackets and we're going to pick a type. So will it let me pick between different types? It does, excellent. So these are all the block types we have access to. So we're just gonna scroll down until we find the one that we want. I want the, which one do I want? Yep, I want the URL type. That is what I want. Now inside of here, we have to add an ID to it. If we don't add an ID to it, it'll not work. So we're going to pick, we're going to just call the ID image underscore URL. Uh, and we need a label. The label allows for us to actually see inside the theme, like what, you'll see, you'll see. You'll see what the label does. So on the label, I'm going to put in the text, choose where you want the image to link to. I think that's all that we need. A default allows you to add a default setting to that, but we don't need that. And we don't need an info thing either because this is pretty self-explanatory. So this is all that we need, right? So we're gonna save this and we're gonna go back to our theme customization window and we're gonna refresh the page. So the collage section should still be on the page. So just scroll down to it, click on it, click the image block. You can see inside the image block, we have a new option. Choose where you want the image to link to. You can choose any link that's on your store or you can enter in your own link. So let's say I wanted to link this to a blog post for some reason, I don't know. I have a blog right here. I wanna link it to a blog post, not the blog. Let's say I link it to a blog post that says the best jewelry line of 2022, right? That's where I want it to go. So we're gonna save that. So that link is set up, but it's not quite connected to the image yet. So let's just do this last thing. So we're gonna copy over the ID we created, image underscore URL, and you're going to scroll back up to the image block. So let's find it. The image block is right here. So inside of the href, we're going to get rid of google.com and we're gonna put in double curly brackets like this. And you're gonna put block, dot settings dot and then you just put in the id that you copied over image url so we're going to save that now it should be working so if we refresh the page click on it boom best jewelry line of 2022 oh you don't believe me yet that it works let's pick a different link let's link it to a different collection let's link it to my boomy jewelry collection refresh let's go back to the previous page and then refresh click on it 
boom, we're in the Boomi Jewelry Collection. Lastly, let's try linking it to an external website again. Let's say we want to link it to, I don't know, Shopify.com. Why not? And we save that. We go back and then refresh the page. We are on Shopify.com. So that is exactly how you set up a link in the main image of the Dawn collage section. So yeah, we did it. Okay, so if you've been following along so far, you successfully customized your Shopify Dawn collage section. So good job. Now, hopefully you kept that duplicate of your original Shopify store like I told you to. So just in case you don't like this customization, you can always roll it back. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I got something else for you that I think you'll like. I have another video where I reviewed the top five websites that I found using the Shopify Dawn theme. So if you wanna check that out, get some design inspiration for your store, check that out. It should be at the bottom of the screen somewhere. Now, either way, hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one.